you have to keep in mind that these are people who seek to destroy people, who get a high off of harming other people, right? And I don't care what you say, words harm people. So if you are dealing with people who are chaotic in that way, who are destructive in that way, and you're coming with a kind and soft heart and good intentions, there it's, you're not going to win. You're not going to win because they're going to be committed to seeking the worst in you. They're going to be committed to breaking you. A lot of people are forfeiting their callings and their dreams and the things that call out to them because of what other people say. And the things I know, words are heavy. And I think that's okay to say. But for the people who are afraid of sharing, the people who are afraid of creating, of putting stuff out there because you're afraid of trolls, I feel you, I see you, I understand. But I have some tips, encouragement for you. First of all, don't feed the trolls. Let's start there. What is a troll, right? I don't even know where this phrase came from. But when I think of trolls, I think about the stories that I was told when I was younger and how the trolls would like be on bridges and stuff and stop people from like getting to their goal, wherever they were trying to get. There was a troll there who like got in the way. They impeded the way. Right. And that's essentially what trolls do. They come, they're chaotic, they're destructive. They crave like the energy that you give them by responding to them. They crave destruction. They crave your tears. They crave um, they, they they like celebrate. They revel in destroying people. They revel in destroying things, right? These are these are the people we're talking about, the chaotic people, not the people who are, you know, giving their opinions and disagreeing with kindness and grace. We're talking about the people who seek destruction, right? So I, I've been learning a lot about trolls, and I have some encouragement for you if you're afraid um, and if you're dealing with trolls. Maybe you're a content creator yourself, and, like, people on there are just, like, saying nonsense. This one's for you. All right, so here we go. Number one, <laughs> many of them don't know you. Many of the people making judgments about your character, about your history, about your bank account, they don't know you. They have no idea who you are, right? So their judgments about you make no sense. They're unfounded. People have been calling me names. And the thing is, I've heard people say, it's not about what people call you, it's about what, what you answer to. And I do agree with that. I do agree with that. But if you know that these people don't know who you are, then their words, their opinion should have no, you should not allow them to have so much levity, levity, right? It should not weigh so heavily because you know that they don't know you. They're seeing a two-dimensional version of who you are in a however long clip it is, a video, a post, or whatever, and people make assumptions about people based on these small clips, right? Which shows how small-minded they are. They don't have critical thinking skills. They don't have the ability for nuance and understanding that people are multi-dimensional um, that two things can be true at the same time, right? That these are people that seek extremes to destroy your argument, to destroy you, but you know that they don't know you. They don't know you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so they try to sum you up in a 2D, 20 minute video when you're a complex individual. Do not allow these trolls and their words and their judgments to hold any weight in your life because they don't know you, right? And the truth is people see what they wanna see. People understand what they want to understand. You can make a video that's five hours long, a whole dissertation about an idea, just like I made the video about black excellence, right? I went into depth about that thing. I talked about it backwards and forwards. I even made follow-up videos, but people will hear what they want to hear. And at some point you realize people aren't really listening. They're listening for their confirmed biases. They're listening to prove their own point, right? Like people aren't interested in really having an open mind. People say that they're open-minded and they're not, they're closed-minded. They want their position to be the only position that exists. And if you don't line up with their position, then they call you a failure or reject, et cetera. Insert word here. Even in their judgments of you, People on the internet could be anybody they want to be. I could be anybody I want to be. This whole thing that I'm doing could be very fake. It could be very fake. I could have all these positive videos and stuff like that, but really I live a horrible life. I'm mean to people. I'm evil, right? And there are people on the internet who pretend every single day to be somebody else. They're acting. This is their job, right? So to have people on the internet claim to tell me things about myself, when I know it's not true, but then also take them seriously, like, I'm happy. I'm excited. How are you happy and you're destroying me? People who are happy do not destroy other people. Let's be clear. So clearly there's something in you that needs to be worked on, but I don't have to be around while you work on it. Point blank period. Words do hurt. Words frustrate. They enrage. Right? They hurt. They hurt people. And so if you are one of those people who are hurt by people's words, like me, delete them. Delete the comments. I thought about keeping the comments up. I was like, does that make me a weak person? Does that mean I can't take criticism? But the truth is, I don't mind constructive criticism. I don't mind that. I mind destructive criticism. And a lot of people's criticisms are labeled as like, oh, it's just the harsh truth. It's just the brutal, brutal, brutally honest take. I don't need brutality. 
I don't need harshness. I deserve kindness and generosity and thoughtfulness. Like I deserve to have people's words peppered with tenderness and love and care. And if you cannot offer that, your comment will get deleted. (laughs) Point blank period. I don't have to give you space to be destructive. I don't have to allow you in my space to destroy me or other people. Nah, like because I want the culture around what I create to be love, always based in love and kindness and self-respect and respect of others, right? And so I don't want that energy, that negative, destructive energy around anybody who follows me. So I delete it. And I take pride in my deleting because that is me exercising my autonomy, my freedoms, and um, my judgments. You know what I mean? So don't ever feel ashamed for deleting stuff or think that you're too weak. It's like, no, you don't have to look at look at ignorance and negativity all day long. Um, another thing I learned about trolls, many of them are projecting. A lot of people project their own reality, their own limitations, their own biases, their own beliefs, right? We all do it, to be fair. We all have biases. We all have beliefs. We all have understandings, right, based on our own personal experiences. But a lot of people put that on you, right? So even this this video I made about black excellence, I said nothing about communism. I said nothing about um, the how people should be poor. I never said that. Um, I don't think anybody should be poor. That's a whole other conversation. <laughs> but people will put words in your mouth because they're projecting what they think about certain things they about what they think about black excellence about what they think about you based on how you look how you're dressed right and so for me because I know people project project a lot of the criticism that people offer have nothing to do with me a lot of people's projections have everything to do with them their insecurities their fears their limitations I don't have to be limited by other people's opinions I'm free I'm free in that and I wish that other people would free themselves to be able to disagree with people without having to make a whole judgment about somebody Judgment is necessary to live in life, right? (laughs) However, my thoughts about other people aren't always necessary. Nobody asked me. Nobody asked me. I made a video about my personal decisions, and people ran their way up there to be destructive, to be disrespectful, to project their own realities, their own limitations, their own um, even what they're motivated by, their own motivations. I'm not motivated by the stuff that y'all are, and that's okay. We're different people. Like, But you being a troll is not going to help your argument at all. So we all have our own biases, beliefs. We all have our own limitations, our own experiences, right? But I know me. They don't know me. The next thing I know. (laughs) The mask of the avatar makes people really emboldened. So people being anonymous online makes them very emboldened to say things they would never say to someone's face because they're cowards. Because they're cowards and they also know better. Right. But for some reason, when people get online, they lose tact, they lose kindness, they lose nuance, they lose understanding, critical thought. All the things go out the window. It's just a place for people to beat their chest, to break people down, to bully people <laughs> like and a lot of people use their avatar to get out any personal ideas or, or um, I guess, beliefs that they have that would not be accepted in society as a whole. But because there's no picture, there's no you don't know who I am, where I work. You don't know about my life. Like, it's really easy for people to be cruel because it's cowardly. I think it's cowardly Um, because you wouldn't say that to my face. (laughs) You wouldn't wouldn't say that to my face. You wouldn't say that to someone you love. It's in to be mean. It's in to be cruel. Everybody's trying to see who can be the loudest, who can be the most sharp-tongued, the quick-witted, um... Who can drag people the furthest, right? Whatever, however you measure that. (laughs) But like a lot of people are chasing or choosing to be cruel because it's in. It's in to be cruel. Like, and so it's a a competition who can be the meanest, right? And so I don't like playing that game. I don't want to play. So I just don't engage. I don't engage. And you don't have to play either as a creator. Delete messages that aren't beneficial or helpful. You're not weak if you don't want to deal with it, right? And your energy is finite and precious. Your energy is finite and precious. Shout out to Erica De Niro TV, right? She always says, protect your energy. At the end of the day, if you have something around you that is draining you, that is depleting you, harming you, hurting you, you can delete those comments. You can choose to not engage. You can curate your life in a way that is not draining of your energy because your energy is precious. What you have to say is valuable, is important, right? And you don't have to allow other people to silence you or to have you question your own worth or value. You know you. You know what you mean. You know the goodness you mean. And when people misunderstand you on purpose, like that's them seeking to destroy you, seeking your energy, seeking your engagement. You do not have to engage with trolls, okay? You have to keep in mind that these are people who seek to destroy people, who get a high off of harming other people, right? 
And I don't care what you say, words harm people. So if you are dealing with people who are chaotic in that way, who are destructive in that way, and you're coming with a kind and soft heart and good intentions, there is, you're not going to win. You're not going to win because they're going to be committed to seeking the worst in you. They're going to be committed to breaking you. And there are people that I engage with online, even in the comments, when I'm explaining myself, I find myself over explaining myself or explaining myself to people who are seeking to misunder misunderstand me. And at the end of the day, they're taking my good energy, right? Like your energy is finite. Your energy is not here to be, to have it engaged with people who seek to misunderstand you and destroy you in the first place. They don't deserve your energy. They don't deserve your, your goodness, right? It's the people who you're trying to serve. Focus on the why, on the message. The message was not for them because they don't want, they don't want to understand that. The message is for the people you meant for the message to be a part of. And to be honest, a lot of people agreed with my video. A lot of people resonated with what I was saying, but it was the negative comments that had me draining all my energy. Like I'm going back and forth with them, trying to over explain myself, trying to, you know, come from a place of critical thought. And these people weren't interested, but I could have been putting all that energy, all that effort, all that love into people who actually understand or have questions or disagree kindly, right? Like I could have been putting my energy there, but these trolls were taking and zapping me of my energy. And so I had to refocus and be like, okay, what is the goal here? Is the goal to argue with people in the comments all day long? Like, is it is it to be is it to be um, engaged all the time in debate? It's like, no, I'm not debating anybody about what I choose to do with my life. If people don't agree with it, they can keep scrolling, but they don't want to because they want to engage you. They want to be the meanest. They want to be the nastiest person online. Also understand that there are real people in the real world who love you for who you are, not because of what you make, not because of your opinions, not because of your background, your experiences. There are people who love you in the real world. It's important that you unplug from the internet because the internet will have you thinking that you're crazy, will have you thinking that you're not enough, that you're not brilliant, that you're not important. It's important to get around the people who remind you of who you are, despite what anybody online says you have to remind yourself every single day and if you don't have those people let it be you like don't align yourself with people who seek to destroy you if nobody else is in your corner in your camp it should be you you know yourself you know your intentions you know that you're trying to do good in the world right but there will always be people in the stands saying something and that's another point right a lot of people have a lot to say who don't do the work themselves. A lot of people criticize people who create, who who show up, who put themselves out there, right? Because they're cowards and they're hiding behind either an avatar or a screen or whatever it is, but they don't know what it's like to actually be in the arena fighting, right? So to be fair, these people in the stands are not qualified to even criticize you because they're not making their own videos. They're not making their own podcasts. And, and, and if some of them are, some of it is destructive, right? Like, so y'all not even on the same playing field. Y'all not even in the same arena, but they have everything to say. It's much like when people watch sports and they have all these criticisms of these players, the football players, the basketball players, they should have done X, Y, and Z. You're not even in shape, but you have all this to say about these players. You're not a part of the franchise, but you, you talk about what you would do, what you wouldn't do. No, like... We have to be careful about who we qualify or, or what we qualify people to say about us. Because when they don't know us and they're not doing the work that you're doing, they don't know what it's like to make yourself vulnerable, to create something, to put in time, research, effort, editing. You're making yourself vulnerable. And people are not always going to appreciate your vulnerability, but that doesn't mean that you should stop. It doesn't mean that you should stop because of people who seek to destroy and misunderstand you. These are chaotic, unhinged people. It doesn't matter what you do. You could say the sun is yellow and they'd be like, the sun is green. You're an idiot. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really think about this thing. I really don't. The reason why I feel so passionately about this is because I don't want stuff like this to destroy people's dreams and their callings. A lot of people are forfeiting their callings and their dreams and the things that call out to them because of what other people say. And the thing is, I know words are heavy when you speak words over somebody and that this is a message to trolls right like understand you're either speaking destruction or construction right like you're either destructive or constructive and your words carry so much weight that when you speak over someone's life you are literally like wishing death to their thing death to them is death in life either one right is what you're saying life bringing or is it destructive so we really got to be careful about who we listen to. You have to monitor what you're taking in, right? Monitoring your energy, monitoring what's filling your heart. You really have to pay attention to that. And these trolls are not qualified to put anything into your heart. You have to guard it above all else, right? 
you're brave. They're not. I just said that. People on the sidelines always have something to say. People who don't play always have something to say. You know why? Because they're spending a lot of their energy critiquing other people and not creating. A lot of people have a lot to say because they're not busy on their own mission doing their own thing. If everybody was on mission, there would be less criticisms of people, less harsh, like harshly uh, worded messages. Because the truth is, I feel like a lot of people are miserable because they're not doing their thing. They see what you're doing and they're jealous because they want to do it themselves. Right. But instead of doing the work to actually do the work, they'd rather spend their energy con- like destroying you. They'd rather spend their time breaking you down, telling you that you're not enough, right? When really, that's really what they feel about themselves. Everything is a projection. The thing is, my message was about self-love because if I love myself, I love my fellow man. I can love my fellow man as much as I love myself. And if I love myself, that means that I am loving other people. People who are miserable, people who don't love themselves, destroy other people. Because if you're happy, you don't have to destroy people to feel good about yourself. You don't right? Like you're just content. You want to make people's lives better. You want to share in that wealth of joy and happiness and contentment with other people. But people who are destructive are destroying themselves. So you can't take that personally. It's not even about you. It's about them. So instead of even feeling angry, sometimes I feel sorry for people. I feel really sorry for people because I'm like, dang, you're this miserable. And the thing is, the message could be for them. It could be helpful for them, but they won't listen. Also made a song about this, and I'll share this at the end of the video, along with another song that I made, but yeah. Some people seek to misunderstand you on purpose, okay? It is not your job to convince people that you are worthy, valid, or important. They don't want to see it anyway. You're trying to prove your worth to people who are committed to not seeing you as worthy, okay? So I've tried to reason with people, but they will seek their own biases anyway. I will try to explain myself. And after a while, I realized, Alicia, why are you over explaining yourself to people? Period. But also people who are committed to misunderstanding you. Why? It's like throwing energy into a black hole. It gives nothing back. It is not fruitful. It is not a fruitful conversation. Uh, Many people don't listen to understand. They listen to respond or clap back or to be the smartest person in the room. The reason why I create content is not to be the smartest person in the room. It's to challenge our beliefs, our thoughts, our ideas, right? The things that we have been indoctrinated with. And I feel like black excellence is one of those things where we feel like we have to strive. We have to achieve to be worth anything. We have to, you know, be in competition with other people when there is enough resources for everybody. It's just a few people hogging all the resources. So why are we competing with each other when it exists? That doesn't make any sense. We're playing a game that somebody created for us to play. That's essentially my, essentially my message. They will take that and say, oh, you're a failure. You're just an underachiever. You want people to be poor. You want people to fail. But yes, many people just listen to, to, to clap back or to be right, not to understand. So if people are not trying to understand you, don't waste your energy or your time. Focus on who you're trying to serve. Give those people your energy and focus, not the folks who don't want to understand you in the first place. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve your time. Do not exhaust yourself with people who seek to exhaust you, who seek to beat you down, who seek to misunderstand you. They are not worthy of your life energy. They're not. So put on those blinders and go. Your message is important. Don't let some random people online drown out your own voice. You are worthy and you deserve to have your voice heard. And that's what breaks my heart is that There are so many people with so many dreams in their hearts, so many um, dreams to impact the world, to improve it, but they won't move on it because of what people say to them, because of the criticism they get from other people, because of the lack of help, the lack of resources, the lack of support. And I don't want your dream to die because you're afraid of what trolls online will say. I don't want you to not make the impact you were put here to make because you're afraid of what other people may think or what other people may say. I understand words do hurt. Words do hurt. But please do not allow someone else's words to bury your dreams or to bury your light or to dim your light, right? Like, we don't want to give people that power. The power is with you to keep going. You can't please everyone, and everyone doesn't want to be pleased, right? So some people crave drama and conflict. They seek it. They seek to have conversations with you to nitpick something and, like, to go off about because that's their that's their energy for the day. Their energy is so, like, low vibrational that they seek things that are destructive. But when you're up high, it's like, girl, I don't have time for that low vibrational stuff. Like, you can come with me when you get there, but I'm not going to drag you along with me, right? You don't have to engage. You don't. You know what you meant. Listen, I've been dragged for a lot of stuff. I've been called a lot of names on the, on the, on the internet, um, and I get it. 
But what I am also committed to is myself. I am also committed to the people I want to serve. I deserve to have my voice heard, even if people disagree with it, right? I deserve to be treated with kindness and with generosity and not with chaos or destructive hands or destructive words. Like you're a person worthy of kindness, love, and respect. Hard stop, period. I don't care what you did. I don't care what you have. You deserve that. And you also deserve to give that to other people. So if you are a troll, seek help. And I mean that in all seriousness, because there's something in you that's miserable that's causing you to cause misery to other people. But also if you want to create, or maybe you are creating, but you're afraid of what trolls may say, I feel you, I understand you. Listen, comb through the last video I did about black excellence and look at that, right? Look at all the negative things that people will say. I'm still alive. It sucks, right? I'm embarrassed that I engage with some people because they didn't deserve my energy. Um, But other than that, I'm moving on to the next thing. Okay, they can be stuck there. They can be stuck arguing amongst themselves. I told them you're arguing with yourself in the comments. Okay, anything super negative, I'm deleting because I don't have time. I don't have time to engage and I don't want people to come to my place of rest and joy and love, right? Where the message is to love yourself and love other people and get chaos and get furious and be offended by what other people may say. You know what I mean? So don't feed the trolls. Your thumbs were not given to you to argue with people on the internet. That's one of my affirmations. My thumbs were not given to me to argue with people who seek to misunderstand me, seek to destroy me, seek to harm me on the internet because they don't deserve my energy. So protect your energy, as Erica always says. Shout out to Erica Denera TV. And don't feed the trolls, all right? And I'll talk to you all in the next one.